national U.S. security, and that's how we're addressing this. Having a good working relationship with somebody is never a bad thing. Finally, uh, during the president's trip to, uh, or actually before he went to Japan, the White House military office sent this email to the Navy, and I want to read it. USS John McCain needs to be out of sight. Once the story became public, here was the president's reaction. Now, somebody did it because they thought I didn't like him, okay? And they were well-meaning, I will say. I didn't know anything about it. I would never have done that. Two questions, and I got about 30 seconds for you. What does the president mean it was, it was well-meaning? And second, have you, as White House Chief of, Chief of Staff, determined how it was that somebody in the military office in the White House decided it would be a good idea to hide the ship of, that is in honor of an American war hero? All right, in the 15 seconds you left me out of your 30, uh, the president didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. Look, literally hundreds of people are involved in moving the president overseas. The president's feelings about the former senator are, are well known. The fact that a low-level person might have asked the question shouldn't surprise anybody. We think it's much ado about nothing. Will somebody in the White House be disciplined? Uh, for, for what? For asking a, an innocuous question about, about that? No. Does someone get disciplined at Fox News for saying that so-and-so doesn't want to sit next to so-and-so at a meeting? No. We, again, this is a minor issue that we think the media is trying to make into a larger, a larger matter. Well, let me just say, to pursue it, that the Pentagon chief, uh, Shanahan, had his chief of staff call the White House to say that the Pentagon must not be politicized. So apparently, Patrick Shanahan doesn't think it's a minor idea. Um, but again, the, nothing happened because of it. Someone asked a question uh, during the preparation for a trip. Again, if you understood how many people were involved in this, you understand the number of folks who could have asked this question. And if, if a 23 or 24 year old person says, look, it, is it really a good idea for this ship to be in the background? That is not an unreasonable question to have. And it's certainly not something that takes up two minutes of national television on Sunday. Well, <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mick. Thank you for your time. Always good to talk with you, sir. Please come back. Thanks, Chris. Up next, we'll bring in our Sunday group to discuss the policy and politics of the president's tariff threat.